Okay, what is the difference between a message type and an IDOC type? Now, to understand this better, you'd have to visit the SAP SD advanced training class. Or you can just read through what an IDOC type is and what a message type is. And, and that there's a whole lot of... Uh, so, we know what message types are. A message type is a type of message that anybody of anybody meaning any system can understand irrespective of whether it's SAP or Oracle or JD Edwards or any ERP system can understand what that message is for example when you say orders this is Edifact and in ANSI you can say 850 that's the orders message type now this is something any system would understand it need not be SAP the corresponding IDOC type is orders 01, 02, 03. There are different versions. What is the difference? The difference is this is a standard message type that any system can understand. This is SAP proprietary. I typically tend to take the USPS, US Postal Service example. As a consumer, you understand what is priority delivery, what is express delivery, or, or what is an overnight delivery. These are things that you understand. These are things that the intended recipient of that package would also understand. right? So when you say, I have um, shipped it overnight, the other person would expect it the next day because that's the kind of package. And when you say, it's um, what, what's, what's in the package, you say, let's say, there's some uh, CDs or there's some electronic material. The other person would understand. So it's about the content and the packaging. But internally, USPS could be calling it whatever it likes because it needs more details. So when you say an overnight package, that's like saying it's an orders 850. It's a standard way of communicating things. The source system as well as the delivery system would understand it. But like I said, internally, USPS can call it anything because it's their implementation of an overnight delivery. Between, let's say, East Coast and West Coast, overnight delivery could be classified as something. And let's say between East Coast and another East Coast town, they could classify it as something else. And that is totally transparent to the end user. End user meaning both these systems. And let's say, there's an international delivery right say you have shipped something from the us to india and there's no usps in india right so when you say overnight delivery in usps it typically means the same thing in the indian postal service as well but the internal representation is is different in uh, india they might call it ems uh, emergency mail service or something like that which is like an overnight um, fast speed post system but in usps they call it something else let's say an overnight delivery odn so these are implementation details that the source system and target system worry about but essentially the message is the same message is what every system should understand so that's a message type and an idoc type is something only sap can understand when the same message goes out to an Oracle app system, they would still call it an order system. But their implementation need not be IDOC. Their implementation could be anything. I don't even know what their implementation is because I've never worked on an Oracle app system. But I know for sure it's not an IDOC. The reason is simple. This is SAP proprietary format. And Oracle could be using its own proprietary format. So this is, so this is, everybody understands, it, this is internal to SAP.